Hi, this is Terry from Fabric Junction in Sturgis, South Dakota. Today I'm going to show you how to fold and prep your block to make a butterfly quilt. As you can see, I have made one here, all different kinds of handkerchiefs. What I'm going to show you, I'm just going to use a square. So when you have your handkerchiefs or your square, Make sure that whatever you're going to put them on is much bigger. You can see this is a lot bigger. This is going to be my butterfly. First thing I need to do is I can go through and I can stitch the edge with something or I can leave it raw depending on how I'm going to attach it to my square. So I need you to fold it in half and the point doesn't have to always be exact because sometimes you're working with something that's got a little circle. So I tend to just kind of come up just a, just a hair and, fold, and press it. My next step is from the right side, I want to fold it and just give it a real light press. All I want to do is be able to see the center. Just enough so that I know that's my center. I'm going to take and I'm going to fold from that center and then I'm going to arch it. And it doesn't make any difference how much I do because every handkerchief I've worked with I end up with a different length here. But you want as little as possible at the top, the head part, and then you want this to fan wherever you think. Now I'm going to go refer to the quilt to show you a couple ideas. Here was one that had a big E on it, so I wanted to make sure my fold would show off that E. If it wasn't the E, maybe it was a flower. Any kind of center. This one here had the flowers all around, so I could play with this. This one had a real narrow flower down in the corner, so I wanted to profile that flower. So as you can see, I do all kinds of different widths on the tail to really profile and highlight the handkerchief itself. Well, since I'm working with a square, and I decided I want this one to have kind of a skinny body. So, anyway. I'll back up, fold, fold it back as little possible at the head, and then whatever you think at the tail. And then you're going to fold it open. So there's kind of your little line. Try to keep it nice. And you can give it a little bitty press if you would like. I don't want, I don't want to lose my center line. I'm going to slip a pin in there now because I don't want this to get away from me. Come on, pin. Okay. So I still have my center line. Now that fold is not going to line up as pretty as the other because of what we've done. But you can line up your point here and here. And this one folds back to match your other one. Okay? and then fold it open, and there's your butterfly. Now one of the things you can do is you can always do a little bit of shifting if one side looks a little bigger than the other. Just kind of roll it a little bit, get your tape out, measure it, roll it just a little, roll the head in so it's a lot closer, and there's my butterfly. And now I'm gonna put a pin on this side and now I am going to do a press that sets everything down because I, that's the fold I want. I'm going to pull my pins out of the way so I can really be happy with the way. Give it a nice press. Now, on your piece, as you notice on my quilt, my butterflies go all over the place. So I'm not worried about centering them. I generally put them all on the same direction. I might have been a little this way, might have been a little this way, but when I sewed my blocks together, I had my butterfly going all different directions. 
but I pin it down. Now, if you have a problem with the pinning, go ahead and use basting spray on it to hold it in place while you stitch it down. And when you get ready to stitch, you can use, you can do it by hand with a blanket stitch. You can do a zigzag stitch, a satin stitch, a straight stitch, and then stitch down the body. Once you have it stitched in place, you need a head. And I just cut a bunch of little circles out of the piece of black. I left it raw edge. I put stabilizer and then cut my circle. I put it on here and then I use kind of a little zigzag stitch to place it. But I am jumping ahead of myself because it needs some kind of antenna. And you may not see this, but I just kind of drew them like that so I could stitch. And I used kind of a, not quite a satin stitch, but a, a zigzag stitch to fill that. If you don't want to do that, you can go through and just draw them with a marker. Either way, when you're done, this will cover up the ends and the very top and stitch that down. There is your butterfly. Maybe you only want to add one to a quilt. Maybe you'll have a bunch of handkerchiefs that you want to make a full quilt out of them. Either way, it's up to you and just don't get overly excited about how your butterfly is a little imperfect or whatever. When it's done, it looks beautiful. So thank you for watching us here at Fabric Junction. If you have time, stop by. Check out our website at junctionfabric.com. And thank you again.